Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Randy again. I'm going to be showing you how to install a new ROM uh, with the ext4 partition, um, Edify scripting using your new Clockwork Mod version 3.0.0.5. Um, this one is going to be Supernova version 1.5, and this is again for ext4, and this does use the Edify scripting. So if you've already watched my other video on uh, installing Clockwork Mod 3.0.0.5 then you should be ready to install your new ROM which hopefully you already put on your uh, SD card before you started this whole process. So you're going to hold the volume down, the camera, and the power button until you get into Clockwork Mod Recovery. So now you're in Clockwork you're going to go down to install zip from SD card just like you would in all the other clockwork mods you're going to go to choose zip from SD card and we're going to choose supernova 1.5.2 and then we're going to tell it to go ahead and install it yes I was hoping I could focus in a little better for you there, but it's about as good as it's going to get. This is actually my first time using um, this new Clockwork Mod 303 uh, 3.0.0.5, and this will be my first time flashing um, Supernova version 1.5. I have not tried it out yet, so uh, we'll see what this looks like here. give it just a couple minutes to boot up here. Always takes a little while on the first boot. There she goes. I hate this thing. Alright, well there she is. That is Supernova version 1.5. I know it's a little blurry, sorry about that. You can see it's 2.2.1 and Supernova 1.5 DK28. 
run a uh, wanted to run a quick benchmark on here. Give me just one second, and I will set up this uh, this account real fast. get it set up on Wi-Fi real quick. That'll help speed things up a little bit. All right. Looks like we got Wi-Fi going now. See if I can get quadrant. And we'll get Linpack. Do a quick benchmark here. Let's get see an I get an idea of what, what what we're working with here. And if you can't read that, we got a 1505 on quadrant, which is pretty good. Run Lin pack. Thirteen point nine three seven and six point oh two. And 14.092 and 5.95. So there you go. That's just a quick walkthrough, real quick. App drawer is your messaging. Let's see what all keyboards you got here, if you've got any other ones. Looks like you got Swipe, you've got your Android. And you got your Samsung and your phone dialer. And your app drawer, <clears throat> which is just basic, nothing really. Uh, we'll check our GPS real quick. I already turned on GPS. See if we can get a lock here. I 
I'd say it's pretty good. It says accurate to 70 meters, which is horrible, but given the fact that I'm inside on an extremely cloudy and snowy day, um, it does have a pretty good idea where I'm at. It's got the street where I'm at, and it's a very short street that I live on, as you can see right there, so it's pretty accurate. And maps has stopped unexpectedly. Force close. There's your first force close. Anyway, that's uh, that's about all there is to show. You've got your benchmarks in a, a preview of the Supernova 1.5, and you're even lucky enough to see my my first force close issue with it. So, uh, got some updates available here. Yeah, big deal. Anyway, that's it. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up. Um, I'm going to call it a night and get this video uploaded, and I will work on getting some more of these EXT4 ROMs along with their benchmarks uh, uploaded to you guys tomorrow. So comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.